I'm not a lawyer, and I know that laws are there, and there are complex reasons why laws are there. And these laws don't only apply to journalists or to free speech. So I'm not going to make a determination on that. However, I think it's important for my interest as a, a media advocate uh, and somebody who teaches journalism to point out the fact that the reason we are in this space is that there are no explicit laws governing and regulating the media, particularly the broadcast media, where all these cases come from. We've had a broadcast law, and I've been involved, George has been involved from 20 years ago, uh, Samson, I think you've been involved, 20 years ago. And in fact, yesterday at a, a, a World Radio uh, Day event, it was pointed out by uh, Professor Amin al Hassan of GBC that the law as it stands now has almost become obsolete mm. because it's been taken over by events, which is why we're having this discussion. Yeah. We are always overtaken by events. We had a changing media landscape. We needed immediately, before we license the 684 or so radio stations that have been granted authorization, almost 500 of which are on air, before we got to that point, we should have had a law explicitly, explicitly stating how it, the, 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 the uh, terrain should be regulated so that people who feel aggrieved know clearly where to go for relief. We don't have that. We just keep getting promised administration after ad administration. It doesn't happen. And then when they feel aggrieved when they are in power, they run to laws like this. It struck me, Samson, that you pointed out in, in, in your um, earlier um, submission that all three arms of government we have have had cause when they thought that their reputations were at stake, including parliament, mm -hmm. even though the speaker was on record as advocating for media freedoms, abusing what we think are speech rights. It's time to stop making false promises and having laws that regulate. Look, if you had a law that spelled out sanctions, some of those sanctions could include even shutting down radio stations. So you don't need to put them in jail. But if the owners, because you see, part of the problem, Samson, is the ownership of radio stations. Mm, it's the biggest. It's the biggest problem. Most of our radio stations are owned by politicians. It's not by accident that when Bobier Ansa was picked up by the police, it was NDC supporters who went to the jail. Mm. 